happy place, welcome. Disneyland is your land. Here age relives fond memories of the past. And here youth may savor the challenge and promise of the future. Disneyland is dedicated to the ideals, the dreams, and the hard facts that have created America. With the hope that it will be a source of joy and inspiration to all the world. From the moment we first ventured out from our cave dwellings, humanity has possessed an unsuppressible instinct to explore. Sparked by curiosity and furthered by innovative advances, we have trekked across continents, sailed vast oceans, and descended into the skies above us. In doing so, we have traversed the globe, encountering the countless majestic sights and wonders dotted across our planet. As time has gone on, our world has gotten smaller and more interconnected, and as such, the adventurous flames of exploration have burned softer. Disney's Imagineers sought out to rekindle that spirit of adventure with Soarin', a phenomenal attraction that rediscovers the grandeur of flying over the world's most awe-inspiring landscapes. Take a seat and raise your feet into the air as we embark on a breathtaking journey on Soarin'. The genesis for Soren first took flight for Disney's California Adventure in 1996. Originally dubbed Ultra Flight, guests would have been surrounded by an IMAX dome screen and be carried forward by a cable mechanism, similar to the conveyor machines one would find at a dry cleaner's shop. Another idea included the same multi-story screen, but with guests boarding simulator vehicles at three different levels within the building. The designs, however, were ruled to be impractical and the attraction returned to the Blue Sky drawing board. Imagineer Mark Sumner continued to tinker with the concept. Over a Thanksgiving weekend, Sumner found an old director set in his home and crafted a scale model of a new ride system that overcame all the issues that were plaguing the Imagineering team. With Sumner's feasible model, Imagineers could now combine all the loading areas into a single level without sacrificing guest capacity or efficiency. The ride system features several techniques that work in tandem with one another to simulate the illusion and sensation of flight. The cantilever lift system raises each hang glider vehicle 40 feet above the floor and into the show area, which consists of a massive 80-foot concave domed IMAX projection screen. At times, the vehicle seats even sway and tilt in synchronization to what is unfolding in the film. The ride footage itself is projected at 48 frames per second, instead of the conventional 24 frames per second as a way to make the on-screen imagery appear more lifelike. To enhance the experience even more, wind and scents are ejected from the canopy of the vehicles toward the faces of the riders. Such aromas that have been used in Soren include evergreen pine, citrus blossom, sagebrush, sea breeze, grass, and rose blossoms. Given that the attraction was being designed exclusively for Disney's California Adventure in Anaheim, the Imagineers decided to have the experience depict the varied landscapes found throughout the Golden State. Composer Jerry Goldsmith immediately agreed to write the music for the attraction, after becoming emotionally moved by the footage after his first viewing. Reminded of his father's personal love for California, Goldsmith was so taken by the attraction's premise that he even offered to score the attraction for free. Soarin' Over California held its maiden flight with the debut of Disney's California Adventure on February 8, 2001, instantly becoming the park's crown jewel. Disney recognized its success and duplicated the attraction at Epcot and Walt Disney World. The second attraction, known simply as Soarin', opened on May 5, 2005 within the Land Pavilion, themed to humanity's relationship with the Earth. Soren replaced the pavilion's former attraction, Food Rocks, which itself had replaced Kitchen Cabaret, both of which were audio-animatronic musical stage shows based on nutrition. Nearly a decade later, the Imagineers acknowledged the potential for growth and decided to expand the attraction's flight plan beyond California. 
Equipped with the latest advances in film technology, including laser-powered digital projection and a new five-camera system developed by Imagineering, Disney began work on a new iteration of Soarin' that would take guests to a diverse selection of international locations and landmarks around the world. Composer Bruce Broaden scored the new film with the London Symphony Orchestra at Abbey Road Studios, drawing heavily from Jerry Goldsmith's original themes. This new attraction was rechristened as Soaring Over the Horizon and debuted alongside Shanghai Disneyland on June 16, 2016. The American versions at Disney California Adventure and Epcot were renamed Soarin' Around the World and opened the day after Shanghai's on June 17th. A fourth version of the attraction was adapted for Tokyo Disney Sea as Soaring Fantastic Flight and opened there on July 23rd, 2019. Soarin' offers different experiences at four Disney parks around the world. We'll begin our international flight with the American versions. Disney California Adventures attraction is located within Grizzly Peak Airfield and a hangar-like building decorated with photographs and artifacts celebrating California's rich history of aviation. Found within the heart of the land pavilion, Epcot's attraction is designed as a classy modern-day airport terminal. Once cast members separate guests into their designated rows, actor Patrick Warburton delivers the attraction's pre-flight safety briefing. The riders then enter a dimly lit theater resembling a runway where they secure their valuables and take their seats onto their hang gliders. After a few quiet moments, the flight begins and the hang gliders are suddenly taken aloft. The original California flight took riders across numerous sights and vistas including the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, the forests of Redwood Creek, the vineyards of Napa Valley, the protected waters of Monterey Bay, the snow-capped mountains of Lake Tahoe, the peaks of Yosemite National Park, the resort city of Palm Springs, the orange groves of Camarillo, the vast landscape of Anza Borrego Desert State Park, the USS John C. Stennis stationed in the port of San Diego, the surfing coast of Malibu Beach, the nighttime skyline of Los Angeles, and finally, the Disneyland Resort in Anaheim. In the reimagined global version of Soren found at all four parks, the flight takes guests over several international spots, including the breathtaking summit of the Matterhorn in the Swiss Alps, the icy glaciers of Greenland, the sailboating regatta of Sydney Harbor, Neuschweinstein Castle in Bavaria, Germany, the grassy plains of Kilimanjaro National Park in Tanzania, the Great Wall of China, the Great Pyramids of Egypt, the Taj Mahal in India, Monument Valley in Arizona, the tropical Lao Islands of Fiji, the cascading waters of Iguachu Falls in Argentina, and the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France. Finally, each park then concludes over a different destination, either at Disneyland Park for Anaheim, Epcot for Walt Disney World, the skyscrapers of Shanghai for Shanghai Disneyland, or Tokyo Disney Sea for Tokyo. The latter version also replaces the Eiffel Tower scene with that of Tokyo's skyline. After a brief fireworks finale at either locale, the hang gliders then slowly descend back to ground level where the guests collect their belongings and exit the attraction. The attractions at Shanghai Disneyland and Tokyo Disney Sea each feature a unique reinterpretation all their own. Soaring over the horizon at Shanghai Disneyland is rooted within the park's adventure isle and is therefore themed as an ancient celestial observatory belonging to the indigenous Arbori tribe. Guests meander through the sacred walls of the observatory as the starry night sky twinkles above them. The tribe's shaman channels the mystical powers of the condor, granting guests the ability to fly. The attraction then follows the same ride format as the American versions. The attraction at Tokyo Disney Sea, known as Soaring Fantastic Flight, is intricately woven within the park's Mediterranean Harbor, in one of the most impressively themed show buildings found at any Disney park. Nestled in the hills of an Italian village during the early 1900s, the Old World area is home to the Museum of Fantastic Flight, inherited by the fictional society of explorers and adventurers. The museum's centennial galleries celebrate the legacy of Camellia Falco, 
a pioneering aviatrix who had been the museum's curator before her death. Falco's spirit reveals herself to the guests, granting them the chance to board her greatest fantastical invention, the Dream Flyer. The attraction also then follows the same ride format as the aforementioned versions, with Falco's pet falcon Aletta joining guests on their journey. One could declare that the sky's the limit for Walt Disney Imagineering. As a picturesque, globe-trotting travelogue brought to life, Soren venerates both the natural beauty of our world and mankind's kindred sense of exploration. Despite its relative adolescence, the sheer brilliance of unifying cutting-edge technology with a stunning scenic tour across some of the world's most compelling panoramas empowers Soren to stand honorably in the grand pantheon of Disney attractions.